Okay, time for our next presenter. Arnaud Garand was raised by two deaf crack addicts and left for dead at 22. He now lives a J. Paul Getty life in Southern California. I think he's a little bit of a nicer person than J. Paul Getty was, from, what I, from the movie I've seen. He's the inventor of the seven steps to reprogramming yourself, a proven method to permanently release any old emotion, trauma, or repeating negative thinking. He's the founder of Total Health Mastery University and has changed the lives of thousands of people all over the world. Please welcome Arno Goran. Am I on? How many of you would like to live a little bit longer? How many of you would like to live forever? Thank you, thank you. My name is Arno Goran. Thank you so much for having me here. I felt so much love when I was here with you last time and I felt it again as soon as I came. It's such a pleasure to be with you. Thank you, thank you for having me. So after that vigorous workout, I've got to catch my breath again. <laughs> You might recall from my last presentation that I shared a little bit about my personal background. How I was told I would never get better by any type of doctor of every kind of medicine, that I was told I would die, and then I didn't. And I decided to share with the world what I had found and add to it and create a program to help people and transform their lives. I showed you a bunch of testimonials because most people don't believe I can do what I can do. So I wanted you to know where I was coming from. And today, I'm gonna to share with you more information on how I do that. How do my students listen to an audio program at home or watch a video or come to a live workshop and then create those impossible results? And I'd like to share with you some of the theories and some of the tools that you can use in your life right now and forever after into the next thousand years to make sure that you can live forever. Because as you learned last time, Dr. Greger said, Death does not come from old age. Time doesn't kill anybody. It's disease that kills people. So I'm gonna share with you some of the methods of how we reverse those conditions. Shall we begin? So the number one rule of health and evolution is very simple. It's, it's the law of how your body works, how to fix it when it's not working. Provide all of the essential nutrients and remove all of the toxins. That's the basic rule. If you can follow that rule, your body will be able to repair and fix itself. Now there was an experiment done called the Chicken Heart Experiment. And it was published in Dr. Richard Anderson's book, Cleanse and Purify Thyself, book one. And it was also in Anthony Robbins' personal power program, which is the highest selling audio program of all time that sold about 35 million copies in the 1980s. What was the experiment? In a university in Northern California, they gave a chicken's heart the correct nutrients that it needed and changed the water every day so it, all the toxins it produced through its natural processes would be removed. Now a chicken tends to live about 10 years on average and the chicken heart lasted for 29 years. Why did the chicken heart die at 29 years? They forgot to change the water. So it illustrates on a simple level that our bodies are designed to last forever. But if you don't change the water, it will eventually break down. Does that make sense? Now, the chicken heart is a little bit simpler than you. You have four different parts to who you are. Can you shout them out? What are the four parts of a human being? Physical and mental. mental? Emotional and spiritual, very good. We can call it spiritual energetic for those who are more scientific minded. There is an energetic design to your physical body. There truly is, right? So we have to address the whole person. You can't just look at one side of it. Otherwise you won't be able to resolve every challenge. On the physical side, you've got detoxification. That's removing the bad, right? Going back to the first rule, we can call that internal releasing. My old martial arts master, Master Kim, said that with everything in life, there's inside and outside. Inside block, outside block. 
There's hot, there's cold, there's black, there's white, there's internal and external. So there's releasing and building up. So nutrition is building up internal. Whereas on the external, stretching is how you release the acid that you build up through bodybuilding, endurance building, coordination building, exercises. So you go to the gym, you lift weights, or you play a sport, whatever you do, and you build lactic acid. And that's what makes your muscles burn when you get to that point. Stretching releases the acid buildup, yes. right? So it's a balance, and you have to do both. If you only do one, you won't be as strong as you can be. The same thing is true in the internal, nutrition and detoxification. Now there are three major categories of toxins in your body. Number one, mucoid plaque. You know what that is? No. That's amazing! <laughs> Most people have never heard of mucoid plaque. Dr. Anderson calls it the rubbery, hardened mucus inside of your intestines that's as hard as a car tire. Now, it's, not, it's pretty nasty, and most people have pounds and pounds and pounds of it. One of my friends who won the Body for Life competition when she was 42 said at the age of 21, she was working as a cocktail waitress at the Playboy a uh, restaurant or a bar at the Playboy Mansion. And she did her first intestinal cleanse, which was seven days, and said nine pounds of plaque came out of her. She was 21, she was gorgeous. So even a young 21 year old woman could have nine pounds of plaque in her body. You also have liver and gallbladder stones. Now if you try to Google this, you might find people saying that there's no such thing. I'll tell you, my mom was scheduled for gallbladder removal surgery. The doctor told her it'd be $5,000. It was perfectly safe. The internet said that 25% of people who have that surgery get an infection from it. And that 100% of people get depression from it. And I met a woman who was in her 50s who had her gallbladder out, and she said she had diarrhea for the rest of her life. Never had a normal bowel movement again. 500,000 Americans have their gallbladder removed every year. My mom was on the calendar. She was waking up in the middle of the night with pain. She had been to the ER. I said, Mom, let's do a liver gallbladder stone flush. She did the flush. It cost a whole 20 bucks. Very expensive. Black sand came out. I said, do it again. A cup of black stones, little black stones like the size of peas, came out of her. She didn't have pain anymore, so they canceled her surgery. Yeah. I said, Mom, I want that $5,000 to go on my part of the inheritance. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But in, the, in reality, you have stones in your body. They don't show up on an ultrasound unless they're calcified. Now, I have a, a friend who has photos of an ultrasound of his calcified stones in his liver and gallbladder and then photos of the ultrasound when they're not there anymore because he flushed them out. But if you get an ultrasound and you don't see stones, it's just because they're not calcified. If you do a flush and do it properly, stones will come out of every single person. And then of course you have the environmental toxins. Heavy metals, Dr. Rita Ellithorpe is one of the renowned researchers on heavy metals on our planet. She says that 100% of Americans have heavy metals in their body. Aluminum, mercury, lead, that sort of stuff. And that 59% have symptoms of heavy metal poisoning. Dr. Robert Marshall, who started Primary Research Lab, said that 20,000 different chemicals are emitted into the United States every single year. We're being exposed to chemicals all the time. Of course, we know about preservatives because we now know that human beings don't rot in the ground like they used to because they're so well preserved from all the preservatives that they're eating. They're <laughs> herbicides and pesticides are a part of human society. If your food's not organic, you're eating herbicides and pesticides every single day. They destroy your immune system. Of course, there's many, many other forms of environmental toxicity, everything from electro smog to actual smog you breathe, chlorine in your water, and on and on and on. This is what mucoid plaque looks like. You can eat the most pristine diet in the world. You can do water fasting, juice fasting, intermittent fasting. You can do everything that you're supposed to do, exercise every day, and then do your first intestinal cleanse, and this will still come out. 
I knew someone who did a raw vegan diet for 10 years, so only eating fruits and vegetables, fresh for 10 years, and did a cleanse, and tons and tons of plaque came out. It doesn't come out from eating healthy. It doesn't come out from just putting water in your intestines. You have to specifically clean it out. This is a gallbladder full of stones. Right. If your liver and gallbladder are full of stones right now, and your intestines are full of undigested sludge, and your body's got heavy metals and pesticides and herbicides and all this stuff in it, and you feel the way you feel now, how are you going to feel when it's all gone? You wonder why your kids are bouncing off the walls. Because they don't have all that stuff yet. They have some, because we're born with some. Now you've got your emotional self. How many of you would agree that dealing with your emotions is an important part of living forever? Thank you, thank you. There's a lot of science behind it. So what do you do? Well, on the external releasing, there's things like venting. Going out into the woods or to the desert with a big bag of rocks or apples or a bunch of eggs and throwing them and screaming until you're not mad anymore. <laughs> Just get it out. Punching, yelling, kicking, throwing. It's one of the things I like about martial arts training is you get to yell as loud as you want and no one thinks you're crazy. Love in all of its forms is the external buildup. Right? You look at someone in the eye and you say, I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad I know you. You give someone a hug, you get that physical affection. You spend time with people you care about. That is the buildup on the emotional level. And we all need it. Dr. Virginia Satir, which much of NLP is based on, released a blog about a study done on hugs, where she said that you need four hugs a day to survive. <laughs> to survive. 12 hugs a day are minimum to thrive. So four to survive, 12 to thrive. Give a lot of hugs every day. You need to have that love in your life. Now what about the, what about the internal emotional? So a doctor friend of mine named Randy Freiberg figured out a way to release the chemicals of emotions from the cells of your body. He taught it to me, I have a class on it. It's called the Emotional Repolarization Technique. And it does both the releasing and building up on the emotional level. And because emotions are chemicals and they're in your body, it has a tremendous impact on your physical well-being. And whenever I teach it, I ask the audience at the end of the day to go home and test themselves to see if they have any physical pain in their life caused by an ERT. And every single time, the next day, someone comes back, or a whole line of them come back, and get on stage and tell everyone about how their wrist no longer hurts and they've taken off their wrist brace, or how their back no longer hurts. Last time I did it, Diana came up and said that her knee didn't hurt anymore, and she wasn't limping anymore. She was in her 60s or 70s. It's, it's very profound, and we all need to learn how to do this and release every single emotional toxin from our body that we've built up throughout our life. Spiritual or energetic? How many of you are a practitioner or have experienced some, si some sort of energy work in your life? Look at you, thank you very much, so many of you. So there's Reiki, there's Qigong, there's so many different ways that we do spiritual or energetic healing or work. Reiki is one of the most well-known forms of hands-on healing, but there are other ones. Barbara Brennan's Hands of Light is a four-year school just for that. Uh, shamanic ceremonies like sweat lodge and soul retrieval would go into this category. Qigong literally means energy exercise. All the quieting the mind practices you might do, I would put into this category of how to develop and heal the human being. And then of course there is working on the inside, which is when you clear the past intentions that keep replaying in your life over and over and over again. right? So I have this client named Emrys who came to my intermediate course where you learn how to clear pictures. And a picture is a memory that's the beginning point of a repeating pattern in life. And he said, in the last three years since learning the seven steps to reprogramming yourself, I've cleared every single thing from my entire life. I can't think of any memory that makes me upset. Literally, there's nothing left. I have no buttons to be pushed. But I have this pattern of letting people down, and it keeps showing up in my life, and I don't know, wh don't know what it's from. 
And I said, Emrys, you've got to clear wherever that intention began in your past. So we have the exercise, and he journeys into the past to a time when one of his ancestors became the king of Scotland. And everyone was very excited this king was going to make life better for them. But what happened was the British invaded, took everything, burned everything, and life was much, much worse, and he let everyone down. And so that's where the pattern came from. The moment that the exercise was completed, he received a text message from their band manager. They have a band and they perform in Colorado every summer. The most they'd ever made in a year was $5,000. The text said, we just got you a residency at a club. You're going to play twice a month throughout the whole summer, and it's for $16,000. So you've got to learn to undo the repeating patterns from the past. Like the ancient yogi said, there's nothing else to do but clear karma. And what is karma but the repeating patterns of your life that you don't want to keep moving on? Now, people have figured out how to do it in various ways, usually taking an hour or longer. I figured out how to do it in five minutes or less, and I call that the five-step emotional eraser. And that's releasing the repeating patterns. That's the internal releasing. But you've also got the internal building up. That's when you create new intentions. That's when you visualize your goals and create a new picture of the future. That's when you envision your life. That's the internal buildup spiritually. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Am I making sense so far? Yes. Thank you. Mental. We're all a little mental, aren't we? <laughs> I need a lot. <laughs> so when I trained martial arts, we trained on the mental quite a bit. We weren't allowed to say can't ever. Can't was banned which is why I'm still alive in many ways, because every time my doctor said I would die, I just thought to myself, you say I can't, but there's no such thing as can't. I will find a way, and, and I did. You're all doing the same thing here. When people say, you can't live forever, you say, yes, I can. Yes, I will. And you keep building that positive attitude every day. Every day. You must do that. You must listen to your thoughts. And when you hear a thought that isn't positive, say, I don't take that. I don't accept that. Cancel that. And you make up a new positive belief. That's working with the conscious mind. Choosing to have an attitude that there is no such thing as can't in life. That you can achieve anything and that you will achieve everything that you desire. Right? When we retired, we, didn't say, we wouldn't admit we retired when we were training. So we trained to be strong always. Positive mental attitude. There's always a silver lining, no matter what. So that's you know, looking in the mirror and saying, I'm strong, I'm powerful, I'm healthy. What if you looked in the mirror every day and say, I'm healthy, my cells are perfectly healthy, and I live forever? Right? That would be the positive buildup on the conscious mind or the external mind. Now, you also need to work on your conscious mind and letting go of beliefs that don't serve you. That's how civilization evolves. People have said there's two things that are certain in life, death and taxes. And then you and I said, I don't agree. I release that old belief from our old civilization and I move into a new civilization where death is no longer inevitable. And throughout history, we've evolved because we've done that. We used to think the Earth was the center of the universe, and the sun revolved around the Earth. And then someone used science and said, ah, actually, we're revolving around the sun, and the sun isn't even the center of the universe. Rack him! That's what they did, right? They racked him. Don't, don't try to say that we don't have all the answers. Don't try to think something different. But you have to. As an evolving human, it's your job to examine every belief that you've received throughout your life and decide, is this belief based in love or fear? If it's based in fear, get rid of it. They used to say that black people couldn't play basketball because the game was too advanced for them to understand. What? We have learned that some of the beliefs of the past are dumb. And we need to evolve and continue to evolve into 
states of belief that lead to harmony, peace, health, and abundance. One of the most common ones that I would love for us to let go of is the idea that the resources on our planet are limited and it is survival of the fittest. That is not true. That is not true. Every star in the sky is a sun and every sun emits light and can create life on any place that it is. The abundance is unlimited. Rather than competition, we need to start choosing cooperation. And with that, we will have more than enough for everyone. Yes. Buckminster Fuller, who has more US patents than anyone else in history, said in the 1970s in his book, The Critical Path, if we just applied all of our technology, every person would live as if they have $4 billion. There is more than enough, we just have to work together and we'll all have plenty. Thank you. Now, along with examining your beliefs, there's a process called completion where you release all the things that you didn't get to say in any specific relationship that you choose to complete. It's like freeing your heart of tremendous weight. This week I had a private client whose husband passed away and she was just grief stricken. So the first thing I did with her was have her do the completion process and just release all of the things that needed to be released to complete the relationship and bring herself to the present. And that's working with the conscious mind. Now the unconscious mind, we use these seven steps to reprogramming yourself. And it does both. In the first four steps, you're releasing and releasing and releasing unconscious programming. In the fifth step, you're writing your own new programs yourself. You're creating the new conscious programs for yourself in the fifth step. And then in step six, you make it permanent. I've never found any other method that releases the bricks of weight that we carry around, like the seven steps does. I've never found any other way to truly heal the unconscious mind, which is why I had to figure this one out. I talked about it a lot last time, well, a little bit. But I'll tell you, in terms of suicide, bullying and other social issues that we face, I feel this is the strongest solution that we have. In 2016, I taught the seven steps for programming yourself, a three-day weekend in Seattle and up in Washington State. And one of my longtime friends brought her son, who was 15 years old at the time, and he came up on stage on the third day and he said, can we release my feelings about my friends getting shot and murdered at the shooting at Marysville High School, the school he went to? I said, of course, let's do that. It took 10 minutes, you know, the average time is about 20 minutes, but it took 10 minutes and I said, okay, so how do you feel when you think about the shooting? I feel fine now. You don't feel angry anymore? You don't feel afraid anymore? No. Nope. What about when you think about your friends who passed away? It's okay. So you don't feel any more, nothing? No trigger, no button, no charge. No, everything's cool now. That's what we can do for our kids. All right, we can teach them to no longer be hurt when people bully them. We can erase the pain that they feel. They literally won't affect them anymore. We can remove the buttons that we get triggered by. It applies to relationships, thank you. It applies to health. It applies to finances. The stress that you feel, much of which is inside of you. What if you could erase stress permanently? So if you want to learn more, you can go to my website, totalhealthmasteryusa.com. I have 21 courses where I teach all these different tools I mentioned to you. And there is a two for one enrollment special right now for spring, but I'm not done. I have more for you. One of the biggest secrets, if you've tried applying everything and you still haven't found the solution, is you've got to go to the root cause of the problem. Okay, if the check engine light on your car turns on, you don't put a band-aid over the light or unplug it. <laughs> you find out why and you fix it with the right tools. I've, gave you, I've given you an overview of the tools, but how do you find the root cause? Well, there's three methods that we employ. Number one, technology. 
the Zyto machine, the biofeedback machine, the Azara machine, and there's others. What's unique about these technologies versus, let's say, a blood test, is these technologies can tell you the emotional, mental, and spiritual root causes, as well as the physical root causes. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And they use vibrational medicine to work on you. Also, you can use bioenergetic testing or muscle testing. How many of you know about muscle testing? Very good, very good, thank you, thank you. Um, sometimes it doesn't work, and that's because you have a major head trauma that's throwing off your field, and therefore you can't test other people or yourself. That can be fixed, and once you fix that, you'll be able to test yourself and others. So someone else can test you until then. It's very powerful to find the root cause using muscle testing. Now, a lot of people say it's BS. Watch Dr. Omira's video on his website, B-D-O-R-T, by digital o -ring test .org. He has a US patent for muscle testing. They wouldn't give him the patent because they said there's no proof it works. So he submitted a double blind study to demonstrate that his method works, regardless of what you believe. And then of course, my favorite method of finding root cause is called medical intuition. Carolyn Mace was the first person I had ever heard use that term in her book, Anatomy of the Spirit. And she said, it is scientifically proven to be more accurate than any form of scientific testing. Medical intuition. It's very woo-woo, you might say. But there is a book out now called Medical Medium that a lot of people are really into. And he's promoting the same concept, that through intuition, through spiritual connection, we can determine or find the true root causes of people's challenges. And for myself, it's been the big secret of how I've been able to help the unhelpable. Because if I can read you and tell you what's really going on, then we can use the right tools right away. Otherwise, you're just guessing. And how much money are you going to spend before you get lucky and use the right tool? Ozone therapy. How many of you have heard of ozone therapy? Well, quite a few. Very good. I mean, I, I expect that from you because you're a very <laughs> wizened and educated audience, right? So what it says there is that it is scientifically proven. <laughs> it is scientifically proven to reverse aging on the cellular level. Yes. What happens as you get older is your cells stop burning fat and start burning only carbohydrates and oxygen to make energy, which produces more acid. And all toxins in your body are acid. Even carbon dioxide that you breathe out is acid. And as you get older, your body stops burning carbohydrates, and it, or sorry, burning oxygen, and it begins to burn only carbohydrates, producing a tremendous amount of acid, causing rapid aging, and eventually death. Dr. Frank Schallenberger, who's the head of the American Academy of Ozone Therapy, has a software and a machine that he can use to test how effectively your body is burning oxygen on the cellular level. And it is a fact that if you provide your body with ozone therapy twice a week or more, that the process of not burning oxygen and fat anymore reverses. And your cells begin to burn oxygen again and burn fat again. Is that interesting? <coughs> There's also something else about ozone I think is amazing. There's actually a long list of things ozone can be used for, but preconditioning is tremendous. What that means is if you have an ozone therapy treatment twice a week for three weeks, you become preconditioned and therefore protected from all sorts of health challenges. I know. <laughs> Dr. Schallenberger told us in his, his certification course I took that a study done on rabbits was performed using ozone preconditioning. They gave one group of rabbits injections of a toxic fat, you know, like fast food, and they got very, very sick. The second group of rabbits was given ozone therapy twice a week for three weeks and then given the fat injections. They showed no signs of receiving any injection at all completely immune to the toxic food. That's mind-blowing to me, that you could literally be that protected from the foods and therefore our environment. He talked about preconditioning making you completely symptom-free if you have chemotherapy or radiation treatment for cancer. 
Can you imagine? He told us a story about one of his clients was supposed to have radiation on his mouth for cancer in his mouth. And the doctor, the oncologist told him, your teeth are gonna fall out, your saliva glands are not gonna work anymore, and your skin's gonna turn gray in that area. And Dr. Schallenberger said, let's do the ozone preconditioning first, then start the radiation, and while you're having the radiation, we'll, radiation will continue the ozone preconditioning twice a week throughout the treatment. His teeth did not fall out. His skin did not turn gray. He showed no negative symptoms at all. The oncologist asked this gentleman if he could call all of his patients and let him know that it's possible to have radiation therapy and have no negative symptoms. And the, the patient said, well, I'll have to tell you, doctor, I had ozone preconditioning and throughout the radiation, which is why I didn't have any symptoms. <laughs> Dr. Schallenberger told us a story about a woman who had surgery, whose doctor didn't want to give it to her because of her age. And she recovered faster than all of his other patients from the surgery. So ozone preconditioning can make you very, very strong, and therefore it aligns with preventative medicine. There's so much more on ozone therapy. I recommend that you study with Dr. Frank Schallenberger. I mentioned him already. He's the head of the American Academy of Ozone Therapists. I also would recommend you study with Dr. Robert Rowan, R-O-W-E-N. Dr. Rowan is the longest living practitioner of oxygen therapies, which ozone therapy is a form of oxygen therapy. He's the father of medical freedom in the United States and known to be the person who coined the term the living foods diet. He's in Santa Rosa. Both of these men are amazing. Um, I also created a course on ozone therapy for the lay person because they mostly train doctors so that the average person could use ozone therapy in their life and also become a practitioner. That's it for today. Are there any questions? Thank you so much. We have a question over here. So I got all excited about mucoid plaque. Yeah, baby. Um, yeah, are you, so just 15, 18 years ago, I lived in North Carolina. People would come to my home for a month and do the 28 day a rise and shine cleanse. Yes. We had chopsticks available. <laughs> you know what I mean, anyway. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, when that mucoid plaque starts to come out, it's, uh, you wanna know like what just came out of ya. And so you, people break it open and look to see. Anyway, <laughs> I'm wondering from you, are you um, ad advising that? The Arise and Shine, there's the 28 day cleanse. I know they have a 14 day now. And, and um, it's ex an extraordinary experience for sure. And um, I guess I'm wondering, is this what you're recommending and any others that, similar to that? Thank you. Yes, the best cleanse. Ab great question, thank you. So the Ri Arise and Shine program was developed by Dr. Richard Anderson, who I mentioned earlier. He's one of my favorite teachers on intestinal detox ever. And I highly recommend his book, Cleanse and Purify Thyself. Um, in reading all the different books on cleansing, I saw a common thread. They all said, you're gonna feel sick while you cleanse. You should take time off of work. And I don't believe that life is meant to be hard. That's one of those conscious beliefs I decided to get rid of. And so I spent a lot of time and research and I figured out how to cleanse without cleansing reactions. And I teach that in my courses. As far as which cleanse to use, the Arise and Shine Cleanse is a great option. There's also the Sone Cleanse, S-O-N-N-E. And there's also Dr. Schultz's uh, program, S-C-H-U-L-T-Z-E, Dr. Schultz. I like Dr. Schultz's because it's very easy. You don't have to take a cooler with you everywhere you go to do Dr. Schultz's. I like the Sone program because it gets more out faster. But if you don't do it right, the shakes that are pulling this plaque could get stuck inside of you. So you've got to do it properly. The Arise and Shine program has the best guidebook to tell you how to do it right and the best supporting supplements. So I like all three of those programs. In fact, those are my three favorite ones. If I have a private client, I read them to see which one's better for them. 
what I teach in the workshops are the principles of how to cleanse the body without cleansing reactions. Then you can use whatever cleanse you want and you'll feel better and better and better each day. You should wake up earlier and feeling better every day of your cleanse wondering why you didn't feel this good before. That's how it should be. And she said it's an extraordinary experience. It's a life-changing experience for most people to do their first 28-day cleanse. Absolutely life-changing. Thank you. More questions? Yes, right here. And we got one here too. Um, thank you, wow, it's so resourceful, amazing. I wanted to know about the uh, oxygen therapy. Um, don't, there's no risk of being uh, the oxidation of the cell for, as a result? This is a really good question. Is there a risk of oxidation of the cells using oxygen therapies? Because ozone is actually the opposite of a vitamin, mineral, antioxidant. Ozone is an oxidant. It's just like hydrogen peroxide is an oxidant. But how can that be good for you? Isn't ozone some toxic poison in the air? No, ozone is O3. It's two all oxygen molecules combined with a third to make a different type of oxygen that actually cleans the air. Mother Earth cleans the air with ozone. That's how it cleans the air. Ozone kills all pathogens on contact. But once it goes through your skin or into your blood or however you put it in your body, once it goes in your body, even if you drink ozonated water, it changes to something called ozonides. Ozonides activate the antioxidants in your body and make them work. So when you have ozone therapy, and this is not commonly taught by the way, when you have ozone therapy, you should take a huge amount of vitamins and minerals with it, even if you're just having an ozone sauna, because all forms of ozone therapy have the same effect, whether you're drinking the water, getting it in, in, in a, a blood, not an IV, ozone with IV is the only form of ozone that's dangerous. Ozone is the safest form of medicine known to man. But if, if they take your blood out, put ozone in it and put it back in, if you have ozone in all these other ways, you want to take tons of vitamins and minerals with it. For example, if you inject someone's joints with just ozone, not much happens. But if you inject their joints with a combination of vitamins and minerals and then with ozone, you can regrow the cartilage in your knees. And in one of Dr. Rowan's presentations that you can watch on YouTube, he shows x-rays of fully regrown knee cartilage from doing the ozone therapy over a period of a year. Dr. Schallenberger has a similar study on it. You could literally regrow the, the cartilage in your joints, but only if you include the vitamins and minerals first. So if you're gonna buy an ozone generator and a bodysuit and just sit in your bodysuit while you do your mind quieting exercises or whatever you do in the morning, combining your time, you should take some vitamins and minerals before and after the treatment because if you have calcium with ozone, the boosting power to your immune system is quadrupled. So it's not dangerous because it's an oxidant. It actually gets your antioxidants in motion, gets them working, and therefore your body can then get younger. Follow up question? Yeah, because uh, so you were talking about oxygen therapy and now you mentioned ozone therapy. So which, I mean, is it just oxygen or ozone? That's a very good question. I mentioned that Dr. Rowan is one of the longest, or is the longest known user of oxygen therapies and ozone therapy is one of the forms of oxygen therapy. Because ozone is really oxygen that's gone through lightning. 10% of the ozone on our planet is made by the lightning storms in Venezuela. That, that, ex, that explains so much. There's a lot of Venezuelan people here, aren't there? You're full of lightning. So an ozone generator is literally lightning in a box and it makes the oxygen electrified or full of energy that you can then transfer into your body. Now I haven't seen a study that says exactly that, that's how I perceive it. The other form of oxygen therapy that's common is hydrogen peroxide therapy. Then of course there's actually oxygen therapy. If you exercise while breathing oxygen, you can reverse the lack of oxygen in your body that goes beyond what your red blood cells are carrying. That's a whole other topic for another time. I have a question over here. I do. First of all, I loved your presentation. Thank um, you. Yeah. 
yeah, you need to come here a lot more often, oh, yeah, or we yeah. need to go to you. I, I, so it's simple stuff. So my question for you, you seem pretty radical, so I'm going to ask this question. It could be controversial. When you talk about erasing negative self-beliefs or, or negative beliefs altogether, you didn't mention this, but what do you think? or do you consider plant medicine to be part of that? There are psychiatrists these days who are talking about things like ayahuasca being more powerful than any years of therapy that they've ever done with people. I thought you might know something about that, so I'm asking. Yes, all the different forms of plant medicine. Her question is, uh, how does plant medicine play into reprogramming the unconscious mind or healing the mind? Plant medicine does not reprogram the negative repeating thoughts. It doesn't do that like the seven steps you're programming yourself does, but all the different plant medicines like peyote, magic mushrooms, ayahuasca, ibogaine, they all contain a similar ingredient, DMT. And you can look up DMT and learn about it. In one study, if they found that if you have 300 milliliters of the active ingredient, it will cure you of addiction, including heroin addiction. Another study showed that having DMT, un enough of it, will cause your serotonin levels to go up permanently. How does it work? Well, partly it's a, it's a physical thing. It's nutrition. I call, my personal reference for DMT is the God vitamin because it allows you to see spiritually. Right. And sometimes when you see spiritually, you see things about yourself that you want to change and that can make you feel a lot better. Yeah. You also could take plant medicine and then do the seven steps while you're having your plant medicine journey <laughs> and clear a lot more a lot faster. <laughs> Because you'll see what's there that you couldn't see before to work on, but you still need the right tools to work on them. The plant medicine isn't a tool to work on that part of yourself. And there's other tools. I mentioned a whole bunch of tools. One last thing on that, a study was done at Oxford on magic mushrooms. And they gave it to people who had been diagnosed with depression for more than 20 years that no form of pharmaceutical medicine could work on. Every single person who took the magic mushrooms was cured of depression. And the professor from Oxford who, who was behind the study said it's not a surprise that they were cured of depression. The surprise is that we were even allowed to do the study. Yeah. So there you go. You. Am I out of time? Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.